This video is proudly sponsored by Readly, but more on that and details of a special offer later on. Hi everybody, hope you're well. It's about time we got down to it and we did a kit review and speed test across our various mobile routers. I'm obviously talking about the newly installed Avtex AMR985, the Netgear M1 and the Huawei 5577C. We're going to do a speed test across all three of these devices and you may already spot there's a slight disadvantage here between the Avtex system and the Huawei and the Netgear in that the Avtex uses an external antenna. But don't worry, we've thought about that. I've bought myself some adapters. These are TSR9 to uh, SMA adapters. You can get these quite handily online. Uh, and that means that this can be plugged into our external antenna, disconnected from our Avtex, of course, plugged into one of these, and uh, we can test the um, the Wi-Fi routers or the MiFi routers with that external antenna. Now I'm going to make this as fair as I possibly can. I know that there'll be something that I do which will aggravate and trigger some of you, but I'm going to try and make this as fair as I can. So here's the setup. We'll test one at a time and I'm going to do three tests on speedtest.net. We're going to do three consecutive tests and then we'll count those up and we'll do an average across those tests. I'm going to use the same server and approximately the same amount of time. I'm gonna situate each one of these routers as close as I can up here, obviously because the antenna connections are here, um, and that's what we're going to do. Now for giggles, I'm also gonna do a speed test on each one of these devices without the external antenna uh, plugged in. It won't work for the Avtex because the Avtex does need the external antenna. So before I carry on and before I continue, hit pause and put in your predictions in the comments down below which one you think is going to be the fastest i have a theory and my theory right now and i don't know this for a fact but i think the netgear is going to be the fastest one here so you may be asking yourself well if that is the case why did i bother going for an avtex install well, there's a very good reason why I went for that, and we'll discuss that later on. Um, but yeah, that is if my theory is correct. You see, on paper, that should be the fastest one here because it's got far more throughput. However, it's limited in other areas, which is why I've gone for this in the end. So without further ado, let's crack on. We're going to start with the Huawei. I'm going to take the SIM card out of the Avtex. We're going to use the same SIM, by the way, and we'll talk about that. Uh, we're on O2. Uh, network but it's a sky mobile sim so it's part of the o2 network it piggybacks that network um, so we're going to use the same sim card across all three devices so let's uh, crack it out of the avtex put it in here plug this in and let's crack on and have a go i don't know why i closed that right i've just done the baseline test with no antenna plugged into it on this little huawei uh, device now the only problem I've got is that, I don't know if you can see this, these antennas are quite close to each other. So it's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a fudge to get both antennas in side by side. But it can happen and it does work uh, like so. Good. Right, so that's both of those plugged in up there. Let's do the speed test and see what it does. So as I said, um, we're going to try and make this as fair as I can. So what I'm going to be testing it with is my trusty MacBook. Um, and we're going to pull up uh, speedtest.net right now. I'm also going to do a screen record as well, so you can see the general things which are going to go on. Um, so I'm going to make a start, and I'm also going to document it all in an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, and we can compare the ups and downs, and we can then do a comparison and work out the averages as well, etc. So without further ado, let's put time lapse on. Let me crack on. Thank you. 
Right, so as I just carry on with these tests, let's have a chat about today's sponsor, which is Readly. Now, Readly is a digital magazine subscription service, which is absolutely fantastic and gives you access to over 6,000 magazines and newspapers, not just here in the UK, but worldwide. Now, if you don't have any Wi-Fi in your caravan, don't worry. You're not gonna be using massive amounts of data. In fact, if you know you're going somewhere where there's gonna be no signal, you can download the magazine titles to your handset before you head off, which means you don't use any valuable data whilst you are away. It's absolutely fantastic to use. It's dead easy to read. If you're not sure about the formatting on your handset, well, don't worry, you can switch to plain text view and it removes all the formatting and leaves you just the text, which makes it very easy to read. Particular titles which I'm loving at the moment is Caravan Magazine, I wonder why. There's some great articles in there. There's people having adventures and maybe you might catch up with some of our adventures in the magazine in the coming months. The other great title I'm enjoying at the moment is Autosport, keeping up to tabs with what's happening in F1 in 2023. There's more politics in that than there is down at Downer Street. That's for a different magazine title altogether. In the caravan, it makes absolute sense. You can take this away with you. You don't need to buy extra magazines. You don't have to the clutter of newspapers around everywhere. You just have your handset with you. And if you are away with the family and you all want to use it at the same time, well, you can do. Set up profiles onto the system where you, the wife, the children, they can all be on there at the same time looking at their own favorite titles. That's exactly how we do it. And if you've seen my videos in the past, you know that we've been using this app for about five, six years we've been using it a long long time for just £9.99 a month there's no contract so if you want to cancel it at any time well you can do and there's two months free why not give really a go yourself don't take my word for it for any sake i've put a link to this in the description down below i've got a special link and a special discount code for you so head on that down in the description and in the comments as well so, so thanks once again to really for sponsoring this video let's crack on and perform more tests So before I carry on give you the results and also repair my glasses, let me just talk to you about one of the things which is happening in this area right now. There's a couple of planning disputes which are taking place in our town. Two phone masts have been removed and our town is now in a bit of a black spot. So mobile signal here is not the greatest and I think that's really good at, for this test, not for living in this town, trust me. So let's go through the results right now. Let me put them up on screen and let me talk you through exactly what I've done. So I've got the three tests here for the 985, the Netgear and the Huawei. So the first test, obviously you can see there's quite a big difference. For the upload speed for the AMR, it's 4.05 megs and download speed is 33.93. If we look at the Netgear, we can see that that's 2.15 upload and 31.63 download. So you can see there's quite a big difference here already for the upload speed. We're missing a couple of megs, but here's the thing. This is the real tickler for me. If we look at the upload speed for the Huawei, it's 9.32 megs and the download is 6.92. So the Huawei's got a faster upload than it has a download at this point in time. Okay, so let's go on to test two. Upload for the AIMR is 5.6 megs, download is 43.34. That is in actual fact, the fastest download speed that I recorded across all of these tests. If we look again at the Netgear, it's 2.57 up and 29.99 down. So far, the Netgear's got the most consistent results, but here's another kicker for the Huawei. Upload speed again, 7.22, download is 7.2. So it's about neck and neck here. So it's quite a balanced upload and download speed here for the Huawei. Test three, and this is really bizarre. For the upload speed for the AMR985, it's 21.14 megs upload, 25.77 download. So it's the fastest upload and the slowest download we have here for the Avtex. Going again at the Netgear, it's the same old story. It's 2.52 megs going up and 26.25 coming down. And the Huawei, again, compounds us. It's faster on the upload than it is the download with 8.72 and 5.54 respectively. 
So if we all results are in, let's do the averages and work out who's the king of Wi-Fi. So the average for the AMR is 10.29 megs going up and 34.35 coming down. The Netgear, unsurprisingly, a very slow upload speed at 2.41 and quite a quick upload speed here at 29.29. The Huawei, again, low speeds, but quite different to how they behave with the other two routers. So we've got 8.42 going up and 6.55 coming down. Now, just to be sure here of the results, I actually did do a baseline test with no external antennas plugged into the Netgear or the Huawei. And this is very interesting. The upload speed was 4.05. So for the first time, we see a faster upload speed here on the Netgear. And the download speed is considerably slower, down by about a third, and it's 9.46. So you can see the external antenna has had quite a massive impact. It's affected the upload speed by a couple of megs, but it's dramatically reduced the download speed and for when we're away using the Wi-Fi in the caravan it's the download speed which really does uh, impact everything that we need to do. Now weirdly and this is very bizarre to me and I don't know if it's because of the connectors I've used or because of the way that the Huawei external antennas are used but this is very bizarre. The Huawei upload speed is 14.85 and the Huawei download speed is 11.15. So basically, the Huawei, with nothing plugged in, has the fastest upload speed here of anything, and is about the third of the download speed here from pretty much everything else. So there we go, the fastest we have there is obviously the Avtex AMR985. Now, I never predicted that, I'll be absolutely honest with you. I thought the Netgear would absolutely cream the competition in this result. I also didn't expect the uh, Huawei to respond as badly with an external antenna plugged into it. And it seems to be performing as well as the other two devices with an external antenna plugged into it. So I'm not sure what's quite going on there. Is it because it's uh, smaller? Is it because it can't work the external antennas correctly? I don't know. I did swap them around as well to see if that made a difference. It didn't make any difference whatsoever. So you can take your conclusions from that as you want but the question is which one would i recommend to you well to be honest with you any one of them is pretty good i mean the huawei seems to be the cheapest one to go and buy i've put a link to that in the description and i've also put a link to the netgear and the avtex in there as well you can form your own conclusions and you can see which one works for you i will say though i can't test what it's like with the phone where i'm at the moment because my phone is locked to ee and also I, I can't put a sky sim into it and e around here at the moment is blinding it's so much faster so unfortunately i can't really use my phone to, to test the network here tethering from a phone to the laptop i would love to maybe i'll come back and revisit that once the contract's over and finished on my phone so you may be asking yourself well why did i go for that avtex system if i knew already that the netgear was going to be the fastest one well in both cases for the huawei and the netgear i can't get a vpn client like that of nordvpn or surfshark or any of the other big corporate uh, networks i can't get one of those vpns to run on those devices it's well documented it just doesn't happen and for me i want to be able to swap around the um a, the a vpn connection there's also a couple of other things which i really do like about the avtex system using it so far in that it's always on it's very reliable it's incredibly reliable um, in fact we had signal in that way beyond me having signal on my phone the last time we were away the other thing i like about the avtex system is that it can allow up to 100 devices now you may be thinking to yourself when are you ever going to have 100 devices in the caravan? And I probably never will. But you see, the other two are limited on the number of devices you can have, which means the Avtech system is far more intelligent and far more resourceful in sharing its bandwidth with connected devices. And for that reason, that's why we went for the Avtech system in the end. So there we go. I hope that is useful for you. If you've got any comments or questions, and no doubt I've done something wrong here that uh, you'll probably pick up on and you'll want me to clarify. And if I have done anything wrong, please do let me know. You know, I try to make these as fair as I possibly can. I genuinely went into this with an open mind and I wanted to prove once and for all which one was the quickest. And I think we've done it. It's given me some really odd results, but I think we've proven that, you know, just by a nose, one of them has pipped the post. And genuinely, that did surprise me. I thought it was going to be the Netgear.
So any comments or questions, please let me know. Many thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.